Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to go over some technical analysis on 88 Energy, ticker symbol triple ENF. Before we do, just to reiterate, not a financial advisor, make sure that you do your own research. Also, if you find value in the video, smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel. If you enjoy the content, hit the notification bell, that way YouTube can let you know every time we release new content. So let's dive into it, guys. Triple ENF. Uh, full disclosure, like I always tell you, I do not currently own any of this stock. And I uh, just like to keep people updated because... I was in this stock several times did a few swing plays on it uh, going to look to possibly enter in eventually at some point again uh, but <clears throat> have not gotten back into it yet but i know some people do keep up with it that subscribe to the channel so i want to make sure that i keep up with uh, this stock as much as i can okay so today's just going to be strictly about technical analysis i don't have any full type of update other than <clears throat> there is a um a piece of land or, or rig that is basically adjacent to where 88 Energy is and where they're looking to drill uh, for one of their projects and they just found oil so that's looking pretty I think that's probably one of the biggest things is people are like okay if they have some that close to where we are then uh, that's looking like it's going to be on the up and up for us correct so um, the overall bottom right now 0 0.0047 your first level of resistance 0.0123 which we're getting pretty close to that now red SMA line 0.0124 if you want to get above there and hold there to be a longer term trend reversal okay then your next leg up is 0.0182 then about two cents about two and a half cents and all the way up to uh, three cents and then the tip top is right at four so uh, this ran up about I guess about 25 percent or so and uh, just keep this in mind too that we are extremely well I guess I say extremely but we're pretty overbought on the 180 day four hour time frame so typically when that happens we do see a pullback right and we do see a drop in the price does it mean that we can't come up swinging tomorrow and bust through that first level of resistance and then allow that to act as support however technically speaking if it were me and I got in here and it shot up 25 something percent then I would probably look to take some profits off the table um, if you know if my average cost was down here because eventually we're going to see it come back down unless we get some type of news or update to make it start moving higher and higher and higher or I could be 110% completely wrong and it just continues to move up and up and up <laughs> but technically speaking as you see here every time we get overbought on this stock in particular uh, we do or really almost any stock you're going to fall down somewhat but it doesn't mean you can't keep going, right? So you have oversold and we fall down. And then if you're following the uh, cursor right here, if you look straight up where the line is showing you here, you can keep up with how you know the price kind of stalls out and then moves up higher again. And then all of a sudden we have an oversold, uh, overbought price here, and, but the price is higher now, right? It's not the same overbought price that it was here. And then we fell down again and then popped our way back up all the way to four cents. And then eventually we start moving down and down and this is when obviously we got the news of them capping uh, that Merlin too well and we've just been kind of trading down and down and then eventually hit a bottom and sideways for a while so this could be potentially you know the the speculative news and the excitement that some of the shareholders needed to see it start to kind of move in a more positive direction or again this could be a fake out so you kind of have to wait and see uh, how the market reacts tomorrow. I think tomorrow is going to tell you a lot as far as how it's going to play out if it comes and busts up above you know uh, this resistance level here and then on the pullback we act as support here. Great sign in my opinion moving forward because you can potentially move higher from there. So anyway guys I just wanted to provide you that quick update on triple E and F. Let me know your comments below. Other than that we'll catch you in the next one.